Hello, Fort Lee. This is Mayor Mark Sokolich. I'm here with Superintendent of Schools, Ken Rhoda. Wanted to provide you with an update regarding the COVID-19 public health crisis. First and foremost, I want to start off by telling you there's been no new cases in the borough of Fort Lee. That's important, neither presumptive or confirmed cases. Number one, I also wanted to let the public know that every single morning at 8.30 here in my office, our entire task force meets. It consists of myself, of Mr. Rhoda, our police chief, borough administrator, OEM director, and all the folks in Fort Lee that help us make the decisions that we need to make on a day-to-day -day basis regarding the COVID-19 issue. Again, there are no new cases, and I want to remind everybody in Fort Lee that your safety is the most important factor in any and every decision that we make. Presently, and as you are aware by now, we've closed the senior center for good reason. They were a group of folks that are most exposed to this virus, and now we wanted to make sure that we preserve their safety. You're also going to hear about a closure at the library. The library itself will remain open, but all library programming and events will be postponed through March 31, and additional press releases will be issued regarding those closures. Um, we all believe our entire COVID-19 task force and all experts that we've conferred with that this is the beginning of the closures. This isn't the end of them. We do believe that in the near future, Fort Lee will have to take the step of closing its recreation department, postponing and suspending our youth sports activities, closing the rest of the library itself, along with the programming that's already closed. And we wanted to make sure that we convey to all residents of the borough of Fort Lee to start to prepare. Don't wait for those announcements. Those announcements of additional closures, closures might happen tomorrow, might be Saturday, might be Sunday. God willing, it'll never happen. But in all likelihood, these closures are forthcoming. If you need to make arrangements for daycare, please do and do it now. If you need to make arrangements for adult care, please do and do it now because we can't predict when these closures will occur. It's also important to remember we on the task force have children. There are kids in school. We recognize the inconvenience that is going to cause with each and every closure. So we don't make these decisions lightly. We take into consideration all different aspects of our decisions. So again, today's message, be prepared, not panicked, and you may anticipate additional closures in the borough of Fort Lee. The public school system is an entirely different area that's under the auspices of our superintendent. And I'm now going to turn it over to Superintendent Rhoda for an update. At this time, the Fort Lee Public Schools are remaining open. As the mayor said, we have no new presumptive cases positive or any persons under investigation in the school district. The district is preparing, however, to, on to pr provide online instruction for the students if it becomes necessary to close the school. Additionally, I think it's imperative, as the mayor mentioned, that families prepare for the possible closure and arrange for child care and supervision as appropriate. In the event of a school closure, all the families will be notified through our school emergency contact system. Thank you, Ken. So again, the message today is be prepared, not panicked. And I will tell you, the more that you prepare, the more that you'll be ready for closures whenever they occur. And as I said earlier, those closures might be very soon, or they might be in a few days, or they may even be in a week or two. But the trajectory of this virus will, in all probability, dictate additional closures in the borough of Fort Lee imminently. I also want to remind everybody, keep your hands washed, follow the CDC regulations, avoid people that are sick. If you show symptoms, wear a mask. If you show symptoms, stay home. It is now your civic responsibility to make sure that you follow these guidelines. It is imperative that we control the spread of this virus. If we do it together, and if we follow the guidelines, we'll be okay in the borough of Fort Lee. I also want to remind everybody that this virus changes on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why we meet every morning, my office, 8.30 a.m. It's important that you also remain vigilant and you check regularly websites such as nj.gov backslash health, cdc.gov, and our very own website, fortleynj.org. Together, we'll get through this, but it's all about preparedness, 
not panic. You can anticipate additional closures. You need to prepare now. Thank you, Fort Lee. Keep in touch with those websites. And we plan on having a conference call, town hall meeting in the near future. Um, check the website periodically for the time, date, and phone number for call-in. Thank you.